Kinsey Kinsey's welcome, welcome. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is the fourth quarter, the month of October, November, and December. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Okay, Cancers, there is a lot that is happening. A lot of you, Cancers, is dealing with a, um, with a lot of issue. You can see that it's coming up. We have two layouts, and uh, it is just uh, the opposite side from the other, okay? So some sort of a... Um, situation is coming up you ladies are standing up in the reading you cancers and it has to do with uh, um a child all right and what i've seen is that um they're going to be finding out that some of you cancers a child um that you had it wasn't for you um the birth mother is a capricorn a younger woman than you are okay that's the child's mother I know you love this child and uh, um, this lady also, you know, see you as the mother. I see you guys are going to be working out things not to worry. All right. That was a message for someone. Whoever you are, this lady um, has no hard feelings. This lady is trying to protect her child because you're older and she knows how things are She's just trying to protect both of you, okay? Um, she has a lot of love for both of you, and she loves you because you um take care of her child. And you know, it's it's like she don't she knows that you are the se the second mother, and uh, um she will never take that away from you. So it, it is for a cancer out there that is worried about how this uh, the biological mother feel about you as a person, but she loves you dearly. Um there is no question about it. I can tell you that she loves you dearly and she just wants to take care of both of you and make sure that both of you are okay. All right. She knows that she's the carrier of this child. She loves the child dearly, but she also loves you as the child's second mother. So don't even worry about that. All right. Okay. Cancers, let's go in and see what is happening. So the energy of the star is here in the month of October for you cancers um especially um business people who are doing business good um not criminals okay there's a difference between um real people who do business good and not criminals that falsify and create issues for other people um i see um business people um you know those those real hardcore um honest cancers because i'm telling you uh there is some cancers okay those people um are going to be um really um really really uh with no question understand what is coming up i love this for you guys uh, someone else gets um this um also so cross watch ladies and gentlemen sometimes i don't say it but you need to cross watch cross watch cross watch cross watch so cancers Let's get in your thing. So you have the air sign on um, in October, the star in October. In November, you have the wheel of fortune. Some sort of a fortunate situation is going to be coming back. Some of you cancers are going to be have some regret of something that you have done to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn in the past. You are going to be having some regrets. There is no question about it. Um, regrets is here. It could be a regrets against a child, regret. Um, um, that you took a child from um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn regrets regrets is here for you cancers okay um, a tower moment is coming down and there is going to be some sort of an emotional situation for you ladies with kids a huge tower moment and you're going to be regretting something and because of a scorpion a huge tower moment is going to be coming down for you cancers whatever is happening whatever is transpiring who is this cancer because of a cancer this cancer is just disrupted okay you cancer lady with with children there is a huge tower moment it is going to be coming down and i see a cycle is going to be over so let's look at the month of october and um, this is what is going on and working with the, the energy of uh, the Tarak. So in October, what we see is the star 
and some sort of a um fast ending is coming in okay whatever is transpiring the energy on the star with a size the size is always uh, always fast and quick and fast okay so whatever that was happening some of you could be going in hospital for surgery also but there is some sort of a fast ending quick quick and fast quick and dirty that is going to be coming in in october then we see the energy of uh, some sort of a situation over work or a project um, it could be ending abruptly, whatever is transpiring, work or project, it could be just ending very abruptly, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. It's just something that is ending abruptly. It could be a project. It could be you're on a freelancer. Um, it could be your job that you're receiving message. Oh, um, there is not going to be any, uh, or, you know, um, we are ending the shift. We're ending. We don't know how. Um, the company is going to be looking next year. Um, so yeah. Uh, so it's something that is some abruptness and it has to do with some sort of a deceptiveness, some sort of a on dishonesty, some sort of a jealousy. Um, there we go. There we go. Pop. Some sort of a jealousy that was happening directly, abrupt. <sighs> Um, it's going to be released out of your life, okay? And some of you are dealing with a um, a Taurus and a Scorpion. A Taurus and a Scorpion. Whatever the situation with the Taurus and the Scorpion or this project, or some of you could be working together. This, 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 whatever the working together, the summer working abruptly it is going to be ended and you got to be aware of this okay um then we look at the month of november the wheel of fortune wow it is beautiful so something is coming back from the past to haunt you guys that you have done to a taurus virgo or a capricorn and you want peace okay because the wheel of fortune has the energy of the coffin. So this is a karmatic situation that has been happening. It's karma. Whatever you have to do and you're dealing with, it is karma and it is coming from the past. You need to bring an end to it in November. Okay. Whatever it is, however it is going, you need to bring an end to this karma in November. Whatever the issue and the situation is, it got to be ended in november okay then we have you guys uh, there is some sort of a regret whatever this regret is and whatever is transpiring this is a karmatic situation and i see you regret you know in whatever way in a good way or a positive way you regret you regret something and is you regret that you worked with a taurus you regret that you had a conversation with a taurus you regret that you ask a Taurus to do something because the Taurus is true. I've shown you under the bus. A lot of you are looking for a peace between a Taurus Virgo and a Capricorn woman. This woman is like 50 years and older. A lot of you want peace, especially you young people want some sort of a peace with this person. But you're coming back to ask for peace for this person. It's not going to be granted. Older people will receive the peace from this person, but younger people not. And I think that... Um, why is because, um, you younger people just thought that you were the cats, Mia, okay? And I see that someone is saying, and your partner is saying, um, I think you, we need to apologize to her. And it's as if, yeah, no, I'm not doing it. And uh, they are realizing that what you have done, they're going to be making a decision. If you don't apologize to the woman, they were to, end the relationship with you all right so if you notice a huge tower moment is coming up for you cancers and you see this is a fast ending fast ending of a contract a fast ending is coming up for you cancers whatever you cancers have done there is a fast ending coming up to a contract a marriage a something a fast ending and it has to do um, with some sort of a situation, some sort of a situation that you created around someone else, okay? A tower moment is coming down on a contract. A tower moment is coming down on a marriage. Mm, 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 mm. A, tower, a huge tower moment is coming down on a marriage, a huge contract. 
a tower moment is coming down on this then we see the eight of cups so some of you wants to leave your job someone some of you are looking for a new job um a tower moment came down on some of you older women and you um some of you older women are thinking about to change your jobs young people a tower moment is coming down on you there is no um and you have some regrets okay and whatever is transpiring with you um Cancer, your marriage is going to be ended. Uh, and you older women, I see um, your heart is full of love. Um, and you're healing your heart. You older women, 50 years and older, is healing your heart. Because you, you're realizing that a young person, have they don't mean you any good. They don't mean you anything bad. They really do love you, Okay. They have been trying to heal a situation and protect you and protect you and protect you. And now you're going to be understanding that they um, have not communicated with you is because they want to protect you. OK, it's because they they are aware of some serious, serious situation that was transpiring. And they ha in order for you to be protective, they had to not have communication with you and you're going to be understanding because i think some of you will think why she has to call me why she hasn't come by she came by but she never came and visit me and um i see that you're going to be realizing um it has nothing to do with that they don't like you is because this younger person was protecting you because this younger person know the danger you were in and they were trying to protect you so some of you older ladies uh, could be wondering you know i haven't heard from this person why they haven't reached out to me and that sort of a thing it's because they're kind of protecting you because they could be caught up in some sort of a situation they don't want to come and visit you because they don't know they don't want to talk to you on the phone because they don't know who is listening because uh, whoever this young person is it could be your child it could be um a family member it could be um you know someone who's very closely connected to the family and you could be asking yourself why why isn't this person and uh, it's because they know some they are in some sort of a serious uh, um situation and they're trying to protect you because you're older and i think they love you so much in order um for you not to get caught up in certain situation because you won't be able to protect yourself from certain people that is uh, connected to them that is the reason why so you cancers who are wondering jesus why i haven't a uh, do they no they care about you they loves you dearly some of you are connected to your um your your um your child biological mother and your child and your child is in some sort of a serious problem and this is the reason why um they both love you and they are protecting you okay so some of you ladies are having an issue where you haven't heard from your child you haven't heard from the biological mother um you don't know where they both are but they need to keep you out of existence so that they can protect you from a really horrible group of people that they have because your child has caught up in some sort of a mess um, some sort of a mess where a young lady came in your child life and created some sort of a mess and the mother the biological mother is trying to get this child out of the mess that this deceptive um, little person came in and bring in your life so do not worry about your child and your child biological mother she is trying to protect the child and protecting you at the same time okay so it's not that she's upset or anything is that you, the, your child is in some serious serious problem and she is trying to get out of um, the child okay out of some problems now some of you ladies are going to be receiving um a situation where you want to leave a situation behind you it's as if you want to leave a situation behind you it's as if you you want to um change the past you can't change the past what you can do is basically work on the future together with someone okay the past wasn't the way you had expected it it's okay here is a new future here is a second chance 
connect with this person. It could be your sister, but it's coming up like as um, the mother and the biological mother for the child. And it's as if you share a child and you share a child, but you share the love. And it's as if you grew up the child and now the biological mother is protecting the child from some sort of an evil influence um, where they could have used the child information, where they could have hold the child as ransom. It was basically a criminal organization that has hold the child at ransom and the biological mother is trying to protect this child. So do not worry, do not fear. Um, you know, peace between you and this person is going to be coming back because there is a lot, a lot of love. This person doesn't, um, hate this person see you as a, the second mother, but right now they need to protect you in order from some really sick people in this world. And she's trying to protect the child at the same time, protecting you. So do not worry. Peace is going to be coming in between you and this lady, the stories where we're a Capricorn person. Peace is going to be coming in. Um, this is a karmatic situation, okay? Um, because you see the Wheel of Fortune. And um, the Wheel of Fortune is showing the energy of the tree is telling you it's karma, it's health. But it's more coming up as karma. Then we see an ending. And this is the transition um, that came up. And peace is going to be coming in. For some of you, Cancer and the Spices, Cancer, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. It could be some of you is your child mother. Some of you is your mom. Some of you is your child mother. And I see peace is going to be coming in between you and this person. I see you women 50 years and older really love this person. Genuinely have genuine love for this person. Okay. Um... In the flip side, I see you women, you, you cancer women who are you cancers who are looking for a new job. I see a new job opportunity is going to be coming in and you're going to be really loving this job opportunity. Um, so I see a new contract is going to be coming up in the month of December. So if you ladies have been thinking about changing job, ladies, women or men, a December, you're going to be getting a, a opportunity, a job opportunity of a lifetime. Okay. So you see the ring, the contract, the job and something that you really wanted. It is going to be coming in and you are going to be very good and successful. In the cross, we see some sort of a karmatic issues that some of you cancers are dealing with a Taurus, where we're a Capricorn woman. Um, I see a situation that it um, could be a Virgo woman. Um, that some of you cancers are dealing with some sort of an issue with, and you have some regrets, uh, regrets you want to um, walk away from this Virgo woman, but it's as if, uh, um, you know, you think about it, but you haven't done it. Are you going to be doing it? Okay. So I see a lot of communication. Um, this could be someone, you know, from a past, uh, a past life, you're trying to work out some sort of an issues. Some of you are going to be working very, very hard. I, I, like um, if you're your own business person, I see a lot of business is going to be coming in for you and you're going to be working a lot and this is going to be good. Then we see the energy of uh, some of you are dealing with a lot of jealousy around you. Energy of the snake, a lot of jealousy, a lot of jealousy. Um, or you could be the one who is um, jealous of someone else. A lot of you are dealing with a um, a Taurus woman. There's a lot of uh, a Taurus woman is trying to bring some sort of a balance and peace in. OK, whatever is transpiring, there was some sort of a jealousy and deceptiveness. And I see a Taurus woman is working in order to protect someone where who was going through some sort of a jealousy as i said a fast ending is going to be coming in i see um some of you women um are going to be finding new love some of you women 50 years and older some of you women your child is going to be coming out for a christmas and that is going to be good then we see the energy of an ending um to a cunning person and this was a pisces person um some of you who were very cunning 
I see an ending is coming in to you guys, okay? An ending to a job is coming in, okay? Um, a tower moment. So a contract is going to be broken or a relationship bond is going to be broken. So be aware of this. So what we're seeing is that some sort of a communication is coming in. An end is going to be coming in to some sort of a cunning um, thing that was transpiring. And peace is going to be coming in. So peace is going to be coming in between some of you and your mom or some of you and a family member who is a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn or some of you and a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. I see some sort of a uh, healing is going to be coming in, but I see the end of a contract and it could be a, a, a relationship, a love affair, a marriage. You can see this, the size, the end of a contract of our marriage. Okay. So be aware of this cancer. Your relationship could be ending. Your marriage could be ending. Um, just unexpectedly, some of you, your relationship or marriage could be ending just out of nowhere. So be aware of this. No one is dying. It's just that your partner is going to be moving away from you. So cancers, be aware and go and um, listen to the Taurus Virgo. Uh, Capricorn readings go and um, cross watch to see what's coming up for your partner you need to cross watch ladies and gentlemen I haven't said it but I'm going to put it in the video cross watch cross watch it's very important thumbs up like and share these videos so that it can be picked up in the al algorithm and I'm asking each and every person be aware of what is coming up because you're seeing the on the shadow of what is transpiring Whoever was creating and doing some sort of a deceptiveness, it's going to come to an end. An end is coming into a health issue. And I see that some of you are going to be feeling much better. Then we see the energy of a, a ending to a contract. Some of you could in December um, receiving news or sometime in the spirit receiving news. That some sort of an ending is coming up um to some sort of a contract that is going to be happening so be aware of this okay some sort of an ending is going to be coming up so um be alert and on top of your game because this ending is going to be coming in peace so there was a whole lot of jealousy jealousy and some of you were having some sort of an issue with the hurt side people I see peace is going to be coming in between you and these earth sign people. But I see you young people are going to be like, no, I'm not. Um, and, you know, you are just not the cat smith pajama, okay? Because trust me, I see you young people have no regrets of what you have done to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. But, but... The thing about you, and you're listening to me because I know who you are. You are mentally unstable, okay? You need to balance out your energy. You are driven by negative forces. So, I can advise you this. Whatever you have done to the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, and you think that I couldn't care less, um, remember, you won't be going to the fourth dimension neither to the fifth dimension okay so you're going to be staying on the three dimension um earth in order to clear your karma because trust me you have done things to even the person who give you a good life you are you are um, really but you know um whoever this person is have already cut you off you will never Never breathe the same air that they breathe again. Never. Okay. So you have no idea what is about to come up for you. So um, there is a saying what the left hand knows, uh, what the right hand knows, the left hand does not have to know. So be like the puss pigeon. Um, um, whatever is happening and transpiring, um, whatever you give out, the universe always return to you. And especially when you hurt someone who doesn't even know you and someone 
who has never ever come in contact with you and would have never ever come in contact with you and someone who is peaceful the universe doesn't like that ladies and gentlemen for the rest of you it's going to be really love is going to be powerful for you a new contract is going to be coming in a contract is going to be signed a new contract is going to be coming in especially for you um older women 50 years and older it is going to be beautiful just keep on wishing because your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true some of you your marriage could be ending be aware i gotta go